Yeah, Frank, tell me a little bit about the investigation. I know you had some of the investigators out this morning on New Eden Road, but what can you tell me so far about this possible mm -hmm. animal cruelty case? Well, when I got to work this morning, I was handed a complaint from a citizen concerning this picture that was posted on Facebook. And uh, along with the complaint, I was handed a copy of the picture, which is a very disturbing picture. And I immediately dispatched two deputies to New Wadham Road to uh, investigate what did happen, if anything. At this point, we don't know if this picture is even true or if anything did happen. However, we have two deputies there as we speak, and their job is to obtain all, any physical evidence, talk to the people, uh, any type of statements they can obtain to determine exactly what did happen, if anything. And uh, if something did happen, uh, we're going to put that in the form of a report and get good, accurate information, and then we'll refer it to the district attorney's office for charges. And uh, most likely, uh, if, if something did happen and we see that it is some criminal activity, it would be based on a violation of the Texas Penal Code. Anyone can go on the internet and look this penal code section up. It's Texas Penal Code section 42.092, cruelty to non-livestock animals. And if you scroll down, it talks about the mental states of the actor, and it talks about what happens if you kill someone's animal. And then on the second page, it kind of talks about the defense to prosecution, meaning if this animal is attacking someone or attacking the person or killing that person's livestock on their property, uh, the rights that they do have. So at this point, we don't know if, any, uh, if there's been any violation of the penal code, any laws broken or not. However, we go strictly by the written law. We enforce the written law. We do not make law up. And the law applies evenly to everybody. If you violate a written statute, then it's our job to compile information for the DA, district attorney, so you can be prosecuted. And again, this is a very disturbing photograph. This is something that our society does not need. And it's, it's a very sad thing to have to deal with this. But we are investigating it, and we will continue to do a good, thorough investigation and obtain all, any and all evidence, whether it be physical or written statements or comments, or if anybody has any information concerning this incident, please let us know. I'm trying to get a few more details. I just found this out as I was driving down, but some of the folks with True Blue Animal Rescue out of Brennan have told me that they think this may be a, uh, may have been a rescue cat that was being fostered by a family out that way, that it might not in fact be a frail cat, but a, a household cat. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. say anything on that or if there's any indication that this was a domestic cat versus feral or no you know. sir i haven't received any information on anything at this point that's something that the deputies are going to have to determine they're going to have to go to people find out if it does belong to anyone that lives out there and it'll certainly be included in the report to the district attorney okay as far as any witnesses uh, do you know if, if uh, there are other people it sounds looks like somebody took the photo for and she might have had her camera on a timer but I'd heard that maybe a sister or maybe a family member might have taken the photo. Any idea on if, how many people were, were out there during the hunt? Or I do not this? know. Uh, I, I, know I do not know this lady. Okay. Uh, I have no knowledge of her or where she works or anything. Okay. And uh, it's all an investigation. I can't answer either way on that. I do not know. Okay. Last question. Do you know if, if this lady, if she lives on New Weedham Road or if she was out there visiting or if, if it's her property she was on? I do not know. I know nothing of this lady. All I do know is that we were dispatched, or I sent deputies to New Wadham Road location and uh, where this presumably took place. Okay. Anything else you can tell us or viewers? Well, it's, it's just a very sad thing to have to deal with. Uh, our society shouldn't, this kind of stuff shouldn't happen in our society. And it's a very sad thing and uh, uh, hopefully we get to the bottom of it and get the truth, 100% truth, and get it to the DA and put it in his hands if it needs to go any further. Okay. Uh, last thing from you, if you want to comment on this, any reaction that uh, we found out from her employer that, that she's been let go from the vet clinic in light of this photo, just any thoughts on, mm -hmm. on any of that? I know no, sir, no, sir. Side, we, we do not operate on opinions, we operate on facts. And uh, I haven't been told officially anything pertaining to her employment status or any of her involvement uh, uh, concerning a vet clinic of any type. So I really can't comment. Okay. Anything else we left out? No, sir. I think you covered everything. Again, it's a very disturbing photograph. And, uh, you know, we're going to do our job. We're going to get quality information for the DA. We're going to uh, do everything we can do to get a good, thorough investigation to find out what took place.